store granola for breakfast, beware. You may also be eating a hefty dose of a harmful weed-killing chemical. Yeah, glyphosate has been linked to cancer by the World Health Organization. And today, the Environmental Working Group released their toxicology report. They found high levels of this herbicide in oat-based foods that could pose health risks, especially to children. So we want to know, do you think uh, enough is being done to monitor the safety of our food? You can vote now on our website at WXYZ.com slash vote. We'll bring you the results later in the show. Meantime, we're going to bring in Chief Health Editor Dr. Partha Nandy for more on this. It's a disturbing discovery, Doc. It really is for yeah. me because I have kids as well. So the EW, EWG took samples, Glenda, from 45 popular foods that were made with conventionally grown oats. And here's this. Only two had no detectable levels of glyphosate. 31 products contain a range of levels either at or above their safety benchmark of 160 parts per billion. The EWG also did sample tests on 16, get this, organically grown oat foods. And they found that five had detectable levels of glyphosate. And this is organic stuff. So why do some organic products even have this? And that's what surprised me, Glenda. So finding glyphosate in organic foods may surprise a lot of us because organic farming doesn't allow the use of this weed killer. But more than 250 million pounds of glyphosate is sprayed on crops all around the U.S. It's popular to use on oats, barley, and wheat just before harvesting so that the crop dies and dries out faster than it normally would, which means it can be harvested sooner. So because it's so popular, this chemical can easily get into what? Nearby streams and soil, which then ends up in organic fields. All right, so how might uh, glyphosate uh, affect children? So Dave, you know, as a parent, I'm, I'm really concerned because kids love some of these products. Mm -hmm. And you can see examples of products yeah. that are high in glyphosate on your screen. And the Environmental Protection Agency actually did some calculations and here's what they found. One to two year olds are likely to have the highest exposure. It's 230 times the EWG's health benchmark. Super concerning. Now, there have been hundreds of scientific studies, but unfortunately the health effects still remain uncertain. But the World Health Organization does classify it as probably carcinogenic to humans. And I think that, you know, for parents like, uh, for me, I'm very concerned and see what, what needs to come out of this. Is this something that would require more study that the FDA should get involved with? Uh, so, you know, if we're going to eat this stuff, we're safe. And that's the thing, you know, more and more groups are saying that we need to do more studies to show the link between this and cancer. But we haven't been able to do it with the hundreds of studies. But my, my rule of thumb is that if you can avoid it, please do. Oatmeal is often the first foods that you give your baby. That's first exactly salads. right. And, and, the, and the kids are most susceptible at the times when it's 230 times the limit. Yeah. So it's very concerning. All right, Dr. Nandy, thank you. We just received a statement from Quaker about this study, and the company says any levels of glyphosate that may remain are significantly below any limits and well within compliance of the safety standards set by the Environmental Protection Agency and the European Commission as safe for human consumption. We'll continue to follow it. Yep. And uh, if you have a question for Dr. Nandy, a health concern, you can email him as always, Dr. Nandy at WXYZ.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.